Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is wiggle subsequence. So a wiggle sequence is a sequence where the difference between successive numbers strictly alternate between positive and negative. Okay, meaning the di difference between uh, uh, alternate uh, numbers should be alternate. So if this is difference is if this difference is positive, then this difference should be negative. Then this should be positive. This should be negative, like this. The first difference may be either positive or negative. So this first difference, like between the first two elements, difference could be either positive or negative. A sequence with one element and a sequence with two non-equal elements are trivially wiggle sequences. Okay. For example, this is a wiggle sequence. Why this is a wiggle sequence? See, difference between one and seven. Seven minus one, six. Then four minus seven is minus three. Then nine minus four will be five. Then two minus nine will be minus seven, and then five minus two will be three. So see, these are alternate differences: positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So this whole is a wiggle sequence. This is not a wiggle sequence because four minus one will be three, and seven minus four will also be three. So both the differences are positive only so this is not wiggle sequence and this is why not wiggle sequence because because the last two elements have difference 0 and 0 uh, that is not uh, wiggle okay so it is mentioned here so a subsequence we know that subsequence is uh, deleting some elements from the original sequence and leaving the remaining elements given an integer array so array is given to us and we need to find out the length of the longest wiggle subsequence meaning alternate uh, difference subsequence the largest length we need to just return in the output the length okay so i hope you understood the problem let's see this test case so here here see what could be the maximum length max length what could be there just stop the video uh, and try to think what could be the maximum length of this uh, sequence where uh, maximum length of the uh, wiggle sequence wiggle sequence so see first we can take one 17 so this will be positive then we can take 5 so this will be negative then we can take 10 so 10 minus 5 will be 5 which is positive After ten, we should take thirteen. No, we should not take thirteen because ten thirteen minus ten will be positive. Thirteen minus ten will be three. So that is positive and positive positive. We should not have. We should have alternate. So there is no benefit of taking thirteen. So we can take fifteen. No. Can we take ten? No. We should take five. Why we we should not take ten? Because then it will be zero, and we saw that we cannot do right. So five we will take this five. So five minus ten will be minus five. Then sixteen we can take. Sixteen minus five will be what? Eleven, which is positive. And then eight. That is eight minus sixteen will be minus eight, which is negative. So see positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And what is the length? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maximum length is seven. Output will be seven. All right. See this test case. Output is seven. So I hope you got some idea. Uh, see, I'll I'll give you some idea that how you can approach this problem. As we see saw this test case, right? What we were checking. See, let's let's try run again. Let's uh, again see how we can do it. Uh, how we just find found out this length. What we did was initially we have we were we were taking this one. So we had taken this one. and then we have taken this 17 and we saw that okay their difference is positive so the next difference next difference we should take should be what negative right obviously because this is positive so next difference we should take as negative so previous difference previous was positive right now we should take negative so if we have 5 here what will be the difference it will be minus 12 which is negative so we can take this 5 right so we can take this 
now the previous difference will be what negative so here the previous difference is now negative similarly now the next difference we will uh, find we, uh, we, we should consider is positive because the previous was negative right it was negative so we will take this 10 because 10 minus 5 will be what positive 5 so now the previous will be 5 because we have taken this 10 right positive similarly now we will take we will uh, now we will find a negative difference so should we take 13 no should we take 15 no because 13 or 15 will give us positive difference so we will not take 10 also so we will take 5 because 5 minus 10 will be minus 5 and we will we uh, we should because previous is f positive right so now we should take negative and we found negative so something this we should do right based on the previous difference we should find the next difference okay so try do one thing try to now using this approach try to dry run once think of the uh think this was the idea think of the approach what you can do using the previous difference so now let's dry run this approach right a very easy uh, approach see what i will be doing right we will, i will be taking two variables total three variables i will be taking one variable will be to store the uh, count or you can say the length of the subsequence current one different one will be the previous what was the previous difference like the was it negative or was it positive and one will be the difference like this is the current difference to store the current difference okay so first of all see at least at least there should be two elements right at least two elements will be there so at least two will be the answer because 117 right or one like a single element or two elements so if there are two elements answer will be two if there is only one element so answer will be one right so this is simple okay so this is one thing now what we will do right at least see if there is if the length if the length of this whole subsequence uh, whole sequence right is more than two it means at least two will be the answer count will be at least two because we can take any two elements we can take this or this we can take this or this right no, not this and this this or this so if the if there is uh, if the length is more than two at least two will be the answer i hope this is clear so initially count value i will take as two and what i will be doing is this is 10 uh, so what i will be doing is uh, here previous will be what previous will be this difference between nums of 1 minus nums of 0 so nums of 1 is 17 minus nums of 0 is 1 so this will be what 16 so previous will be 16 difference right so this previous will store the previous difference and this difference will be the current difference so right now we will start our loop right we will traverse we will start traverse because we have taken these two so we will start traversing from two index that is from here so every time what i will be doing uh, will be let me remove this so i will be doing these steps what are the steps first of all i will be calculating difference difference is what nums of i minus nums of the last element that is nums of i minus 1 okay this is i right this is i so 5 minus 17 this will be what minus 12 so current difference is minus 12 so should we take this 5 right how we will decide should we take this 5 or not previous was 16 that is previous difference was positive 16 is positive right and the current difference is negative is this fine think previous difference was positive this is negative so it's fine right we should have alternate so we will take this 5 so if difference what is difference current difference is negative is difference is less than 0 and and previous 
is greater than zero. Previous is greater than zero, right? Sixteen. In that case, we will do what? Count plus plus because this is fine, right? Alternate. This is alternate. So we will increment. We will increment our count. That is, we will take this subsequence. So count will become three. And what we will do now? Now we should update the previous. Why? Because now this will be the previous difference. So previous, what we can do simply we can assign the difference value to previous. That is for the next further iteration. This will be the pre. Uh, this now this will be the previous difference. So that is difference will be equal to difference will be assigned to previous. Right. So now what we will do? Sixteen minus twelve will come here. Okay. And I I will move forward. All right. So I hope you got this thing. Now let's again do the same steps. First of all, we will find out the difference. So what is difference? Ten minus five. So ten minus five will be what? Five. So difference is positive. Previous difference was what? Negative. This previous difference is what minus twelve, which is negative. So again, if difference is what positive greater than zero and previous previous is less than zero, which is negative. So is it fine? Yes, it's fine. These are alternate. So we will again do the same thing. Count plus plus, and now difference will be assigned to. Previous because now this will become the previous difference. So difference was what five? Five will be assigned to minus twelve here five. Okay, and also I forgot to increment the count. All right. I will also move forward now. I will come here. Now let's find out the difference. Thirteen minus ten will be what? Three. So difference is positive. Previous difference is what? Again positive. Is it fine? No. This is not fine. These are not alternate. So we will not do anything. Does not satisfy this condition. Does not satisfy this condition. So we will not do anything. And what we will do? We will just move forward. I will increment. Again, we will find out the difference. Fifteen minus thirteen. Which is two, so difference is positive, and previous difference is what again positive. These are not alternate, so we will again increment. Again, this will be what? Ten minus fifteen, right? Ten minus fifteen. So now what we will do? um this will be what minus 5 right this will be what we are doing here 10 minus 15 so this will be minus 5 so current difference is what negative and previous was positive so this is fine right so we will increment count and we will assign the current difference which is minus 5 here to previous and we will increment so i will come here Now five minus ten will be what? Minus five. This is negative, and previous was also negative, so this is not alternate. So we will move forward. Now what we will do? Again we will find out the difference. Sixteen minus five. Sixteen minus five, which will be eleven. So this is positive. Previous was negative, so it will it is uh, this condition, this one. So count increment, assign previous. So current is eleven. So we will assign this to previous now. We will move forward. Okay. So I, I will come here. Eight minus sixteen. Now it will be minus eight. So current difference is what minus? Uh, it's negative minus eight. And previous was positive. So this is alternate. So we will. This will be set. This is satisfying this condition. So we will increment count seven. And we will assign this difference minus eight to previous. So out we have traversed the array. 
whole array and the output is 7 count is 7 so this is our output so i hope you understood the problem uh, and the approach let's see the code once very simple problem just we have to keep a record of the previous right so if the size is less than 2 that is the answer we will find out the previous count we will uh, keep and then we will traverse this array okay and we will find out the difference and if it's see these are two conditions right but the this thing was same right so we have taken these two conditions and we have or in between and we are just doing the same thing and at last we will be returning the count so we have a single traversal right we are doing a single traversal so time complexity is o of n and so space we are not using any extra space we are just taking variables so this will be space will be constant so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you